I wasn't like all the rest of the kids. People would just pick on me just for being me. This kid's weird, he stutters. I don't know, he's probably like a retard or something. I'm just like, no, I'm pretty fucking intelligent. There are kids who have like a security blanket, I have like a security string, I guess. If I didn't have this, I'm, I'm not sure where I would be. Probably not in the best place. Let's call myself a thrower. You're just throwing it out of your hand and uh, once it's out there, and you do whatever you do with it. To yo yo to me is like breathing for people. I can't really function without it. It's almost like a dance for me, and so I guess I feel like really complete because it's these three separate things. There's me, the music, and there's the toy, but we're all together. It's like a whole object. It's like some weird form of Tai Chi, maybe. It's comforting, though. It's all that matters. Even as a kid, I just didn't agree with, like, the normality of things. I didn't fit into any specific uh, molds. So people would just give me shit. My stutter did definitely creates barriers with like trying to communicate. This is, uh, uh, this is, uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's like I gotta trick my brain into it, man. It's weird, life. So interesting, man. Uh, this is a yo-yo. I'm gonna do it a little louder and watch I screw it up, right? <laughs> as often as possible, I think I found myself in a fight. In 10th grade, I was on the internet and there's a team called the Bomb Squad and they skateboard and they all throw. It was fascinating. Me and my friend Sean had went and probably spent like $40 and we got a bunch of them. It was like a legit turning point. Like my life had like started to change actually. It just clicked for me. I gave up caring about what people thought. It's not about you. I feel like it kind of saved me in a way. Like all the people that I grew up with, or you know, um, injured or killed, so it's weird. It distracts you from the negativity. The way that I'll see it is, you know, I got a few more kids to throw and out of trouble, you know. Like, I legitimately felt my own personality and myself fading into, like, the abyss of Baltimore society, which is a fucking void of just negativity. I have not been able to cry at a death since my brothers. Yes. He was 16. I was 11. 
Oh, you five and yo real fancy. Right. Mm -hmm. Colin was the first person I legitimately seen with a yo-yo. <laughs> it was like, how do you do this? Show me. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> well, maybe it's about getting the My right. first yo-yo he gave to me. He was like, here, man, play with this. And it completely made me forget about the negativity that was consuming me on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> I was just like, nah. So, split by. To find not only friends who won't legitimately get me killed, and I'm having that sense of family and camaraderie. Like, you know, that's really important for a teenager, you know, to just have that, have that connection, especially when, you know, I'm not getting it from my family. I was so happy. <laughs> If someone's not comfortable with their life, then they should do something to change it. I learned that far down the road, but you know, I learned it eventually. Just going outside to do something that that you truly enjoy can change everything. The VA State Yo-Yo Slam. All right, let's hear it for Colin Nachmar. Like to go a place and be immediately pulled in and accepted because people were like, I've been waiting to meet you. I'm just like, wow. I haven't ever had like a camaraderie like that. I, I really just want to push it as far as I can. Calvin's like the best thrower in Baltimore. There's too many cell phones, tablets, and game systems. I feel like people, as like a culture, are just brainwashed. It's those things that cut out the real human I interaction that people need in order to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started my own company and everything. Damn. Yeah, this is my company, yeah, this is my baby. Oh, yes, yo. Oh, yes, yo. You know, it's a string attached to my hand. It's like an extension of my being, in a sense. So, it's like if I can give it to someone else and it brings them joy that I've done something today. In seven months, we've dropped two brand new yo-yos, added like three players to the roster, and truly developed an entire fan base. And so like, and now there's people with oh yes, yo tattoos. Something as small as this can create a group of people and it might be the one thing that holds them together. <laughs> but all of their ideas are in different places and they could make so much from just being together. A toy is so simple, but it can be so complex.